Hi guys! While working on the U Draper wrapping functionality, we realize that it also can be used to add shoes to your Unreal Engine characters. There are many shoes models available, many are free, so we thought, why not to try it out and see how they look like. This is not the most optimal way to prepare shoes for your character, but perhaps it can be useful for those of you who want to do some quick prototyping. In this video we'll use a metahuman character, but the same approach can be used for other characters as well. As I'm sure you know, when creating your metahuman character, you can select from a few shoes options and your character body mesh will have either cut or intact feet. Let's start with these sports shoes. As we've discussed in the previous videos, the wrap clothes should fit the character body like a glove. So, we are going to export our metahuman character body and position the shoes on its feet. We need to scale them down and rotate 90 degrees. Since they are symmetrical, we can position only one shoes and the opposite one should fit an opposite foot as well. Let's export the shoes in their new position in OBJ format. For our metahuman character body, we are going to select the mesh with the feet cut for flats. However, to wrap the shoes around the feet we need to use intact feet for the collider mesh. When we change collider mesh, our current wrapping become invalid, but because the pose remains the same, we just need to click save to create a new wrapping and click reload if the clothes need a fix. Now, we can import our shoes in OBJ format the same way we import clothes for wrapping without simulation. We select compress in the texture processing, disable cloth simulation, skip validation, and skip unreferenced material options. Click save to apply wrapping and reload. At this point we configure the shoes materials with the normal, roughness and metallic maps provided with the shoes model. To make it look more like a leather, we adjust the Fresnel settings. Don't forget to save the new material settings. Now, we can test the animation and verify that the shoes are moving and deforming together with the feet. For comparison, if we disable the wrapping, the shoes won't move at all. Let's repeat this process for these boots. This time, we export the body mesh with a feet cut for boots. Repeat the boot scaling and positioning. Export in OBJ format.
In Unreal Editor, we add a new Draper Garment component and call it Boots. Repeat the import process for our new Boots file. Click Save to apply wrapping. Click Reload. Configure the material. We need to fix the UV map scale here. Change the body mesh more suitable for boots. Let's try to configure the roughness and metallic maps. According to Sketchfab, this is how metallic and roughness maps should look like. Let's check the RGB channels. The R channel looks like an ambient occlusion map. The G channel looks like a roughness map. Although the B channel doesn't look like a metallic map with the buckles at all. So for the roughness map we select the G channel. Let's adjust the Fresnel to make the material look like a leather. The negative Fresnel power gives this leather-like shine. Save your new material. Testing the animation. No surprise here. Another interesting case is high heel shoes. Let's try these high heel boots. To fit them, we need to use a suitable pose with raised heels. Let's export this collider mesh in this pose we have for the high heel shoes. Positioning the shoes on the feet. And exporting the shoes in OBJ format. Importing into Unreal Editor. Selecting the body mesh with the boot cut feet. Save the shoes to enable wrapping and click reload. Let's configure the material. The model includes the color and normal maps, but there is no roughness nor metallic maps. We proceed with adjusting Fresnel and metallic and roughness parameters. It's time for a catwalk.